I realized a fact lately is that during my career of being alive on this earth, people have always loved my energy. So I started realizing that I'm likable, I'm trusted, I'm respected effortlessly, which I'm, this is normal to me, which I think I'm taking it for granted. I, it should not be normal, I should see it as something special. So let me paint you the bigger picture through this video in order for you to know how to have a high energy and a powerful aura in order for people around you to treat you amazingly and be in love with your presence. First thing first, stay away from drama and don't engage in drama long time ago i was sitting with some colleagues and one of them she was mad and she was saying that uh, someone she knows she's talking behind her back and uh, she's uh, spreading rumors i don't know she was saying something like that and she was so mad and i always mind my business but at that time she was really desperate to the point that i had to say something to calm her down so what i said at that time is why would you give this attention people will always talk it's okay after I said that, the silence was loud. And one of the people that I used to know for years said, Ibtisam doesn't give a damn about haters. She lives in her own world. And that's true. I really feel detached from people and situations, from everyone and everything. Being detached will never make you seek validation or make you feel bad when someone lets you down. And that applies in relationships, whether it's family related, or friendship or romantic relationships relationship it doesn't matter I personally know some people who as soon as they leave a relationship they start trying to fill the void by seeking and hoping to get validation from other people it's like running in a circle for them and that's pathetic guys I want you to learn this people and situations don't define you you don't belong to them and they don't belong to you love yourself spend time with yourself do what you love relax and believe that you are attracting right now good opportunities and good people opportunities that will put you in a higher position in life and people who will bring you peace and highlight good things about you that will help you to get over bad situations easily and start seeing them as silly situations also in order to achieve that you need to lower your expectations in people in order not to be let down make your expectations high only when it comes to yourself and to your life know that every single thing happens for a reason and you will know the reason eventually having this fact planted in your mind will always make you be in a good mood always ask yourself what is this trying to teach me did this happen for a self-development purpose which is preparing me for a better path in my life or did this happen because it's preventing a disaster from happening and when it comes to people always say i served that person and they served me we helped each other for a period of time which came to an end and i'm ready to receive better because on this earth we are serving each other we help each other consistently trust the process and relax one other thing in order to have powerful aura and high energy is not to hate and not to be jealous in case you cannot help but feeling jealous, ask yourself, why I feel this way about this person who did nothing wrong to me? What is missing in my life? What does this person have which I don't have? Never say life is not fair. Why does that person have these things and I don't have those things? Never say that. Instead of spending time thinking this way, start thinking of strategy that will lead you to achieve those things. The same advice applies for problems. First of all, we all get what we are capable of bearing. You won't face an obstacle that you cannot surpass. This is a fact. Think now of the biggest problem that you had in your life. Look at you now, you surpassed it. You are alive, you are here watching this video. Whenever you face a problem, think instantly of how you can solve it. For me, I really get pissed off when there is a problem. Some people, maybe people will think I'm pissed off because of the problem, but no, I'm pissed off because I need to find a solution as soon as possible. I'm really, I really get mad because I need to solve it instantly, no procrastinations. I've never in my life went to bed crying myself to sleep because of a problem. 
I always stay up trying to find a solution. So solution is what you need to think of when there is a problem. Don't ever think of the problem. Instantly start thinking of the solution. I'm craving for peace. So whenever there is a problem, I say to myself, Sam, come on, find a solution. Don't procrastinate. I can't procrastinate this actually. <laughs> Next. Take care of your spiritual side. We are souls before bodies. Realize that. I really feel sorry for people who think this is a material, physical world, everything is 3D. Even the title of this video contains two words that have nothing to do with the physical world. That's why you are watching this video. It has energy and aura so we are souls living among vibrations so praying and taking care of your spiritual side will lift your vibration up i still remember months ago i guess three months ago something happened an incident happened that night which made me feel so so low extremely low and the next day i had to go to work so during my break i went to pray I went to pray and I didn't know how to express myself to God so I was just praying and hoping to feel better and when I went back to work I felt like my mind is empty and my soul is clean it was magical it was like a finger snap that prayer really cleaned my aura really did me well so please take care of your spiritual side because it's really important next follow your intuition so as I said we are souls before bodies so intuition is real and you have to know the difference between anxiety and intuition. So when you are not troubled and you are in a normal relaxed mode and you have a really deep feeling about something or someone, just follow it, just trust it. Because at that time you felt an energy, you felt that person or that situation's energy and energies never lie. Another thing related to detachment is that you need to talk to yourself, sit with yourself, spend time with yourself, face yourself and be your best best friend. Some people spend so much time around others that when they have to spend some time with themselves, they start overthinking, they start feeling anxious, they, they can't face their emotions in their thinking. First step, face yourself. Let it be hard at first. The most important thing is the goal. And I'm not saying that we don't need people, uh, stay away from people. No, you need to have a balance. Like when you are with people, you feel good. And when you are alone, you feel good. So what you need to do is asking yourself, what's the issue? What is happening? And then start journalizing, start writing down. When I was a kid, I used to see my parents writing their diaries. And you know, when we are kids, our parents and big siblings are like idols to us. They inspire us. So I started writing my diaries down too at that time. So recently I found my diaries from when I was seven years old and it was so cute. So we're a family who has this culture of keeping things. So if something is special and has a memory, we keep it. That's why I still have my diaries from when I was a kid. My mother is still keeping my clothes from when I was a baby. So I grew up writing down my diaries every day. And during my teenage years, I was writing bad and good things, which I find now so wrong. And I don't want you to do that because when we write something, we acknowledge it and we confirm it. So the wrong thing I used to do is writing about bad things too. So one day I started reading my old diaries from my teenage years and I was like, when did this happen? When did this bad thing happen? Because I almost forgot about that. So I decided to write only good things from that time on. And you have no idea how much that did me well because it made me plant those good events into my memory and make my thinking more positive. Personally, I don't write my diaries anymore now. I only write my resolutions and my manifestations whenever I feel like I'm ambitious about something. Another thing is that you need to choose the content you watch and the people you spend time with wisely because they will leave a mark in your personality, behavior, thinking, whether you like it or not. Don't watch negative news. Don't follow accounts of people who are complaining the whole time. Don't listen to music with negative lyrics and frequencies that will play with your subconscious mind. Keep in mind that those songs that go viral, it's just because of the frequencies chosen to make them. So be aware and watch out because the most important thing in you that people can use against you to control your mind is your subconscious mind. Try to plant good seeds into your mind by talking good to yourself. Use good affirmations like I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm loved. 
and if someone is trying to say otherwise like calling you stupid you cannot achieve this you cannot do that never turn a blind eye on that personally i always hype my people up i always give them good energy good affirmations like i'm proud of you you're beautiful you're like that in this and i never wait for them to reciprocate that but at least i'm not accepting to hear negative hateful words from them that's why i just cut them off so protect your peace prioritize your peace be surrounded only with good energy good vibes laughters in order to lift your vibration up do what you love because doing what you love will keep your energy high and when you have high energy people around you can feel it for instance for me recently i noticed that whenever i make content on social media i feel a boost on my energy so for you it might be playing football driving making content too or or I don't know so just find what you love to do and start doing it go ahead and one thing which is common for all of us to boost our energy is taking care of ourselves so when you take care of yourself uh, for example by moving your body by eating healthy by taking care of your skin you feel that your energy is getting higher next thing I need to mention in order to have high energy and powerful aura is to never ever belittle people never make fun of them and never make them feel bad and also never judge them humble yourself and know that karma is real and fair because when you do such a thing you only attract those situations those people are in into your life so don't do that to yourself never be evil never hurt people I know we can do crazy things I know I can do crazy things you are watching me you can do crazy things but just watch just sit relax and watch whoever did you wrong will get their karma so just sit and don't ruin your energy and your aura keep them clean thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a thumbs up to subscribe and see you in the next video take care of yourself you are the only one you have